Prophet Muhammad share with you. Uh, today our subject um, is about um, how to set up your uh, model related to single flash geothermal power plant. Uh, we need to discover how can I set up my inputs, how can I uh, extract my outputs. Okay, uh, let's go and see. First of all, you have to, uh, after you download your model, copy it in your uh, working folder and open, then open MATLAB. And you have to go to your, for, to, to your folder from here. This is my working folder. For, from your drive, go to your working folder. And this is my uh, working folder, single flash geothermal. Okay, so I can uh, click here and sort by name and the group by type in order to organize everything. So I will find my 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 two versions of my my model. This is my updated uh, version, and we have here a saturated uh, table for water. You can we can use it just double clicking here and. You will find it here. This is liquid and vapor phases. So you have uh, pressure, temperature, and solvent, entropy. Everything you is uh, uh, contained in your uh, folder. Uh, okay. Just double clicking on your model, and your model will appear like this. It is a single flashing. We do miss it just that before. Um, uh, currently, we are going to discover how can I set up my inputs. Uh, as known before, we have uh, a bombing unit, flashing tank, a bombing for uh, injection and uh, production. We have flashing tank for steam uh, generation uh, for the cycle power block, uh, which is represented here uh, as a, a turbine unit attached to a generator block. And we have two uh, surface um, uh, condenser. Uh, normally used in geothermal uh, power plant, cooling attached to the cooling tower for cooling purposes and uh, heat rejection uh, processes. And we have here um, also we have a, a, a gas compressor in order to remove gases from a, a steam uh, uh, stream. Um, we can go inside okay this is our main uh, plant let's emphasize a little bit okay this is our main plant how uh, how can i set up my inputs and uh, what is my effective inputs that uh, should i uh, uh, represent first of all i have to to uh, remember what is my process just double clicking here click on the photo and let's go inside uh, okay this is my ts diagram uh, which is representing uh, representing my process. Let's emphasize and see uh, what I am talking about. Okay, we have here uh, uh, three main pressures. The first is the, the pressure is which is coming from geothermal wind, and uh, we have uh, this is high pressure, and we have intermediate uh, pressure or turbine pressure. Which, which is responsible for power generation and we have condensation or heat rejection uh, pressure which is for condensation processes uh, what is going on is that uh, we're receiving hot water um, because process one is uh, uh, temperature and pressure and salby and entropy we're receiving hot water then we are going to uh, generate transforming it into a steam by flashing process through the flash tank uh, therefore, we lowering, we used it to lower the pressure uh, uh, down to the turbine pressure. For turbine pressure, we have three main points. We have dry saturated steam, which is which I have, uh, which has enthalpy, uh, uh, entropy, and temperature. And pressure, turbine pressure. This is turbine pressure, and turbine temperature as well. And we have a, a mixed region, which is HX. Uh, entropy uh, uh, and temperature. We need to discover a, a dryness friction value, which is the dryness friction value we can rely on. And we have here uh, fluid uh, processes. This is saturated liquid uh, uh, buoyant for the turbine pressure. Then we have isotropic expansion through the turbine. So we have here also dryness friction at the output. We have uh, 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 out uh, condenser pressure 
for this is ill condition to the condition and this this is outlet condition which is going to be uh, uh, going towards to the pump uh, unit uh, before uh, uh, injection re injection again to the geothermal well okay so uh, let me remove this one okay uh, so i need to assign some inputs so for geothermal let's begin from the uh, from the well from the well i need to assign just um, uh, ambient temperature our reference temperature uh, this is for uh, uh, exergetic analysis in in uh, if needed and we have a standard uh, location or st standard digging uh, um, uh, parameters suppose i need to use uh, usa uh, standards that's all there's no need for other uh, other things uh, uh, for bombing unit we need just to assign uh, um, efficiency and reference temperature i will keep this constant it's okay and for uh, let's go for uh, gas compressors for gas compressor i will not going in depth or, or in deep details for this um, unit because we already uh, demonstrated that before all we should know about this is that the steam flow rate or gases from the steam would be extracted by using this unit you can assign number of stages some design parameters such as running speed surely we are going to use uh, gas and deliver pressure that should be used you can attach the deliver pressure to another process if you are going or intended to uh, do uh, another uh, work by this one okay let's begin to uh, be begin from uh, 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 flashing process because for turbine we just need to uh, assign as entropic efficiency and generator efficiencies uh, that's fine for this one for condenser we need to assign operative condition effectiveness as well um, 0 0.8 is fine for this uh, process and uh, tube diameter uh, through the condenser okay let's begin from the very important unit we have we have here a flashing tank which is responsible for the steam generator or uh, the main uh, power source of the system and we have here uh, the load load on uh, the cycle load on the cycle can be represented by uh, um, by the user the investor so because this is a design model i need to generate one mega two mega 100 mega it's up to your design suppose i need to this is limitation this is the range of the bar you can double click on this bar on this slider bar this slider bar can control your power okay if you double click here you can set your increase the range if you'd like i set it it is from zero to 10 megawatts this is 10,000 kilowatts means uh, 10 megawatts with uh, interval 1000 it's up to your design you can I, I, I this one is comfortable for me it's up to you okay suppose I need to adjust my power this is uh, my power this is 2000 if you double click in this is main gear power if you double click here you you realize that uh, if I change here I'm sorry if I change this one I'm sorry if I change this one, there is a change here. Suppose I need 5,000 kilowatts. If you hit apply, the cursor or the slider uh, will reach to 5,000. If uh, suppose I need 2,300 of kilowatts of power, so the slider will uh, uh, stick at uh, 2,300 kilowatts of power. Okay, so you can remove this left to right or by your keyboard uh, arrows. Just one click and uh, remove it left or right it's up to you but I, I i need to stick this value i'm sorry 2300 okay this is the first item that i can as uh, first important item that i can use in order to um i set up my inputs and this is cost analysis if you'd like plant left time and uh, i'll keep this right now okay uh the second item that um, for related to the power this is there is some kind of power load on the your turbine uh, fan power uh, uh, cooling tower fan power because this is 
mechanical uh, uh, draft cooling tower. This is mechanical. So there is a power coming from the, the fan. Therefore, the, um, uh, we can consider this a load on your turbine unit. So it is not it's, your turbine unit is not going to to deliver. Uh, 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 200 and three, 2000, uh, 2 megawatts and 300 kilowatts. No, it is, it is going to deliver this plus uh, fan power, compressor power, and bumping power issues. There are uh, uh, three additional parameters should be responsible for the turbine power to be uh, presented or to be produced. Um, okay, for cooling tower, we just need to assign the uh, uh, air temperature which is going to cool down the condenser stream. Uh, what is your uh, uh, mass flow rate through the cooling tower? Because this parameter will, uh, will assign number of units should be used in your system. If you lower this one, you are going to use more and more units. Okay, I, uh, 500, I think. I think uh, uh, 500 uh, ton per hour is quite good. That means I'm going to use two units. And effectiveness, I think effectiveness is between uh, 0.4 and 40% uh, and 60% of 0.4, 0.6 uh, of effectiveness uh, for such uh, configurations. Okay. Uh, now I assigned my power. Okay. Now I have to assign pressure. Two pressures should be assigned: uh, turbine pressure and, as you can see, double clicking on flash tank. Let's go here, emphasize a little bit. Okay. Okay. This is our main uh, process. Uh, very important uh, parameters uh, that I, I should assign. Uh, if you go here, this is your table. This is your pressure. Suppose I need uh, uh, turbine pressure. For turbine pressure, suppose I need um, uh, 10 bars or or 11 bars. This will give us the temperature. Okay. So the temperature is responsible for by assigning your pressure. Suppose I need uh, 300. Uh, I'm sorry, 13 bar. 13 bar means 190 uh, degrees Celsius. And point 0.1 bar for uh, the condenser, point 0.1, I think this is point 0.1 here. Yes, point 0.1 is nearly uh, 46, 45, 47, something like this. Okay, let's go here inside. Okay, for uh, um, uh, flashing tank, I'm sorry, for flashing tank, just double clicking, and we can control this one. We can control uh, the pressure. We can control this at zero time limitation or in dynamic mode if you'd like to realize the change immediately you can uh, run our simulation time into infinity and moving the slider in and out in order to see the effect immediately suppose i need uh, um, 13.5 bar uh, as a turb uh, turbine temperature and condenser is 0.1 and this is steam velocity which is parameter which is responsible for uh, flashing uh, dimensions, height, width, uh, diameter of the tube, steam tube, and so on. Reference temperature is 10. This is quite normal for exergetic uh, analysis. Okay, so it is expected to reach 190 degrees Celsius uh, as a, tem a high temperature. Okay, okay. Now I assign my values, my inputs, I'm sorry, my inputs, so I need to recover my, or extract my outputs. Hit run and see. Now we are hitting run. Zero time domain running, okay. Now we can extract our results, unit by unit, okay. I will begin with a flash, uh, flash evaporation tank. I will begin with this one. Let's go here inside. Or we can go in in, uh, in sequence. Okay, let's go for uh, flashing because this one is very very important. Flash uh, steam generator. Okay, by assigning pressure and and uh, condenser pressure and turbine pressure. This is BT means turbine. This is uh, turbine pressure. Okay, by assigning this one, I will get temperature. This temperature. And Salby, 
of the dry, this is dry in salby vapor, okay? And we have here entropy of the vapor, okay? And we have liquid in salby. All of these parameters are function of, uh, or, or uh, depending on the turbine pressure. We have four main parameters. Turbine uh, uh, temperature, turbine dry vapor in salby, and um, vapor entropy, and um, a liquid uh, in salby. Okay, and for condenser we need uh, a temperature. Okay, for for point one bar, this is point one bar. This, you can drag this one. Okay, drag it here, and we can uh, connect this one. If you run, you will find point one. It's easy. It is easy. Point one bar. This is, and the same for the disconnect. If I connected this one, this is turbine pressure. You will find thirteen point five bar. Okay, fine. So we are co uh, connected. We and we are in uh, fully operational uh, and right way. Okay, this is my pressure. Okay, this is my condenser pressure. Okay, by using condenser pressure and turbine, to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and turbine and condenser pressure, I generated or discovered the temperature variation. One for the condenser. Condenser temperature is boy is for uh, forty five point eight as we as we discovered here in the table. Uh, uh, yes, this one. 0.1 or 0.11, it's, it is interpolated. It is already interpolated, so we are, uh, it is, uh, your accurate value should be uh, 45. And we have here turbine pressure. So by using this correlation, multiplying the turbine pressure by two and uh, subtracting from the condenser pressure, we can get the well temperature. This is well temperature, the highest temperature in the cycle. As I showed you before, as I showed you before, we are here. Okay, let's go here inside, add this one, add this uh, processed uh, photo or picture. Okay, we are here, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to drag it away. Okay, so by knowing this one, we already know this temperature and this temperature by knowing temperature of the uh, turbine and condenser we can get this one this one is well temperature by knowing well temperature we can discover in thalby and it which is equal to uh, hx on the turbine pressure so we have here in thalby we can get uh, entropy we, and we can get temperature as well so i will remove it again okay so by pressure and uh, post pressure brought to us uh, temperatures and the temperature brought to us well temperature by knowing well temperature as you can see here well temperature i can uh, get um, uh, vapor density of uh, through the flashing tank i can get well pressure as you can see well pressure at 340 340 this is my well pressure okay it, it should be 147 uh, bars and i can get also uh, from the pressure of the well this one i can get in salby of the well uh, this is in salby of the well which is um, considered hx on the uh, turbine pressure this is hx on the turbine pressure okay okay let's go here okay for flashing tank we can uh, get some, uh, our results which are uh, area diameter cross section area tube diameter steam diameter height of the uh, of the flashing tank width uh, uh, volume total volume okay but we need this one if you double click in you can find out your correlations exergetic correlations and your uh, um, uh, equations uh, which uh, are responsible for uh, dryness fraction calculations and hx let's close this one okay therefore i can discover total mass flow rate and water content uh, uh, at the bottom of your uh, flashing tank this one 
This is what is your mass flow rate going out from the flashing tank, and what is your total mass flow rate uh, through, uh, through the flashing tank. And this is my drainage fraction. This is my drainage fraction. Uh, so at this op these operating conditions, 13.5 bars point at the turbine, point 0.1 at the condenser. So we have point 0.39 uh, or 13 or nearly 40 percentage of the line fraction. This is your exergy uh, uh, inlet. This is exergy inlet coming from the well, and this is uh, exergy outlet going to the turbine steam, and this is exergy coming from the pump because, uh, as you said, a flashing tank uh, having steam coming from the pump. Uh, or going to the bump, I'm sorry, stream going to the bump, and stream coming from uh, uh, the well, and stream going to the turbine unit. Therefore, we have uh, exergy to the bump, exergy feed to the bump, this is bump, and we have exergy uh, flash tank to the turbine, and we have inlet coming from the well. This is, uh, therefore, we can easily calculate the exergy uh, or exergic uh, destruction this is my exergy destruction equations uh, input minus uh, outputs okay so now we calculated drainage fraction okay we calculated drainage fraction we calculated uh, thermal properties temperature pressures uh, entropies and so on and you can discover here on your dashboard you can this is your flash tank volume mass total mass flow rate Okay, uh, flash tank water drainage factor. Suppose I need, suppose I need to change uh, the pressure and temperature and see the effect on my uh, on my results. Let's go here. Uh, let's go here. Double clicking. Okay, double clicking, and returning back inside again. Keep this uh, menu sub menu opened, and go inside the flash cyclone again. And you will find it down here okay so now uh, let's uh, control minus to shrink it a little bit in order to uh, see the variation so i i will change i will i intended to change the pressure condenser and turbine pressure and see the effect on water total mass flow rate and the range fraction uh, and so on and also you can control the power suppose i need to control the power this is the power okay uh, I will keep the power right now. Okay, let's go inside here. First of all, set your simulation time into infinity, I in F. Okay, uh, I in F. And now I hit apply and and control your submenu. Let's hit apply and see. Hitting apply, running. Okay, now I will rise up the pressure. Okay. I'm rising up the pressure. As you can see, uh, drainage fraction has increased. It is increasing more because I'm increasing. Uh, and uh, water water content will decrease because we are increasing the steam. Let's decrease again uh, the pressure. Suppose I'm decreasing the pressure down to 11, for example, or 10.9. This is... Uh, Okay, suppose I need to increase the pressure, condenser pressure, increase the condenser pressure, uh, will decrease the drainage fraction as well, increasing the water content, decreasing the steam flow rate, as you can see here, and increasing the volume of your flash tank, flashing tank, as you can see. Let's return it back to 0.1. Okay, this is your effect on, uh, uh, okay, 0.1, just 0.1. Okay. Okay, just put on. hit OK. And let's return it back to the uh, turbine pressure to 13.5. Okay, just quite good. Hit stop, and you will can you can see this one. You can see uh, realize this in data inspector. Just click here because I already sent my results to data inspector. Uh, clicking here. Okay, let's see uh, uh, the variation of uh, on some parameters. Let's see. Uh, let's go for um, uh, I'm trying to seek most important pumping power no no effect because the power is are constant 
Uh, okay, let's go for uh, drawing fraction. Uh, come, and this is a uh, power. Okay, I'm sorry, you said my cell well dips. Okay, we affected on well dips. This is you have to dig, uh, as you can see, increasing or decreasing the pressure will decide how much deep you are going to uh, dig for the well. This is quite, quite important to the designer. Uh, uh, I need uh, 16 bars, so how much uh, meters should I dig in order to achieve this uh, uh, steam generation so the turbine run? This is quite important. And uh, let's go for number of wells. I think it's constant. Bumping power, no, okay, no effect. Well temperature, surely, surely this will affect on well temperature, which is uh, the main factor on uh, uh, the well design. Uh, as you can see, increasing the pressure and decreasing the pressure, increasing the pressure and decreasing, because this is just an example about this. So, and this one is uh, for exergy, this is exergy destruction, surely you will find exergy variation, exergy of steam, and so on. Let's go for the range fraction. Tank, this is your tank height and tank width, varying, surely. Tank volume, total mass flow rate, as you can see. Uh, flash tank water, kilogram per second flow rate. Let's go for the range fraction, as I think. Uh, um, the range fraction, I think it, is, it was here. Uh, maybe uh, uh, I think uh, this is condenser drainage fraction. Okay, this is condenser drainage fraction is varying. Let's go here and uh, okay. And there's another one. I think it was here. Flash drainage fraction is this, this one. So this is your flashing drainage fraction, fluctuating, and this is your turbine drainage fraction. The exit condition from the turbine. <coughs> I'm sorry. We can assign formatting. Let it be from uh, 0.2 in order to emphasize a little bit. Okay, as you can see here, this is your flashing drainage fraction, and this is your um, turbine conditions drainage fraction. It's normally about from 0.8, 0 0.9, something like this. Um, now we can let's hit, uh, okay so th this is your geothermal you can you can extract your results by here going here matlab yes you will find in workspace condenser area the, all the all parameters you can find here okay all parameters you would like to discover if you would if you if, if you uh, trying to find some parameters and you couldn't find it you have to go here in uh, model explorer Click here and choose your unit and select any, uh, any parameter you would like. Bombing, flashing, uh, turbine unit. And just to click on your parameters that you would like to discover. Click description and save final value to workspace and hit apply. Okay. For condenser, for example, cooling water and salt be out. Condenser, I think. I, I sent already, okay, is exergy destruction in the condenser, exergy of cooling out, exergy of cooling in, I, I'm sending these values, I'm sending all of these values to the MATLAB workspace, hit apply, another method to, to send this value by clicking here and send these values to a data inspector. Okay, for geothermal well, as I told you, by uh, flashing cycle will give us a temperature, condition temperature, turbine con uh, temperature, and a well temperature, and the rest will be calculated. From well temperature, I can know how much I should I dig based on US standards. I I will dig five kilometers. I can discover uh, uh, some outputs. Let's go and suppose I, I return everything to its normal case. And just go here. Uh, pressure is 13.5 and 0.1. Okay. And hit apply again. 
I, I will I will show you how what is the effect of power on, on your uh, system as well. Okay, so uh, let's go here and use similar well. Okay, uh, we have here uh, some uh, parameters: number of wells, dips, and this is very important. How much should I dig? How much should I dig? This is uh, mass flow through the well of, of the steam and uh, water uh, mass flow rate through the for, uh, and this is total mass flow rate. Okay. Let's go inside here for the pumping, pumping unit. I need uh, the pressure, uh, outlet temperature. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I have to, uh, I, I disconnected some, uh, this one, I, I forget. Okay, this one should be, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, saving. Uh, by accident, I, I disconnected this, hit apply. It should be connected now. Okay, let's go here. Okay, oh, the system is running smoothly and uh, calm. This is my my temperature outlet temperature. This is temperature should be uh, uh, re-injected uh, again to the well and salby. Okay, exergy into the pump, exergy output, exergy destruction rate, and this is flash cycle. We already showed this before turbine unit okay everything uh, is connected okay for turbine unit we need to calculate the steam mass flow rate what is your steam mass flow rate okay what is your steam mass flow rate okay okay i'm sorry okay this is steam needed to generate power uh, 4.9 kilogram per second outlet in salby outlet entropy a dryness fraction uh, exit exergy in, uh, from the turbine going to the uh, towards its condenser um, uh, and exergy destruction rate as well. In he, in, in uh, turbine unit we can discover uh, condenser in cell. We need this one uh, 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 dry and, and liquid uh, uh, in salvis entropy and because I'm I'm going to to discover uh, dry fraction so I need uh, uh, dry uh, state and uh, liquid states in order to, to calculate uh, uh, the dryness fraction. For two passive surface condenser, we have here what is your outlet uh, cool, uh, cooling outlet temperature? This uh, cooling temperature coming from the um, uh, which is coming from uh, cooling tower. Uh, um, so, what is the output? Cooling water temperature should be uh, recooled down again. It's around 42 uh, degrees Celsius. It's all the outlet. Uh, uh, condenser uh, mass flow rate, energy, heat transfer coefficient, number of tubes. Uh, we have here in condenser, we have here in condenser, if I, um, we have here in condenser um, exergy for hot stream and cold stream. For cold stream, we have uh, in and out, in and out, and for hot stream, we have in and out. In is coming from the turbine unit, and outlet is going to the to the bombing uh, unit, and cooling is going to uh, to be uh, bombed again to the cooling tower, and we have a cooling in coming from uh, that cooling tower. Uh, we can um, discover uh, what is your condenser, condenser. This is your condenser temperature. This is your condenser temperature. Okay, it's 45 because we have 0.1 bar. Okay, okay. This is your cooling tower issues. I'm not going in, uh, deeply in this one because we need. We just need two units, diameter, height, pressure losses. We already um, uh, made a, a video about this one. You have to refer to uh, our channel outlet uh, water outlet so this is the cool down temperature it is uh, uh, 31 if you're going here we have 42.9 uh, degrees Celsius and it cooled down to 31 degrees Celsius this is outlet water temperature which is cooled 
uh, with bulb temperature, uh, outlet air uh, uh, temperature, because air is uh, is going to cool down the, uh, uh, the cooling water. So it is from 20 degrees Celsius, it is uh, raised up uh, to uh, 61 degrees Celsius, cooling approach range, and uh, heat losses and thermal losses, makeup losses, and so on, uh, which these parameters are uh, quite uh, uh, important to people who intend to work on uh, cooling tower uh, uh, facilities. Okay, uh, let's go here. This is your compressor. Um, what is your power, indicate power pressure? Uh, as I mentioned before earlier, this, uh, this power, as you can see here, this is fan power for, of the cooling, uh, cooling tower, and this is a compressor power. 21 kilowatts and this is your uh, bumping power is attached and uh, 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 calculated uh, uh, with um, as a load on uh, uh, on the turbine unit okay so this is our turbine unit power I think okay so we we assigned net power in as 200 uh, I'm sorry 2300 uh, kilowatts and by the auxiliaries we have 2700 uh, kilowatts of excess power so we have uh, nearly 400 kilowatts of power <coughs> I'm sorry as an excess power load on uh, your uh, turbine unit uh, this this is your cost calculation okay total plant uh, okay this is your cost calculations okay uh, we can uh, add this one okay I, I forget to attach this one I'm not I'm okay this one are attached I have to revise everything um, let's hit run again okay let's go inside okay everything is uh, I forget to attach. I, I have to revise all of this. Mass flow rate, okay, is attached. Okay, every, uh, okay, pressure, cooling. This is a, a cooling water stream coming from the, uh, the cooling uh, tower, as you can see here. This one is going to, uh, to be sent to this one. Instead of using, of using this, uh, I'm sorry, instead of using um, signals and something like this I or I used uh, signal routing because this is signal routing double clicking it is attached to this one this one here okay uh, I think everything is uh, is quite normal now okay suppose I need to change the power I, I need to change the power and realize the effect on your uh, turbine and your results yes Let's set my simulation time into infinity. Saving. Okay. And I will use, I will increase the power range or controlling the power and see the effect on, uh, on my cycle. Let's hit, uh, hit run and see. Okay. Just one click here. I, I'm moving the cursor. Now I'm increasing, as you can see, the power on the compressor is increased. Okay, uh, I'm increasing because of uh, surely the bumping power. Okay, I'm increasing the power, and the fan power of the cooling tower is also has increased, increasing up to uh, uh, seven uh, megawatts, eight megawatts, nine megawatts. Okay, okay, and you can return it back again if you would like suppose you have a decreasing in load variation okay i'm decreasing okay so uh, controlling the power will uh, cause uh, an overwhelming effect on your design and especially um, the depth of your will because we're increasing the mass flow rate of uh, uh, okay that's quite uh, stop here okay Let's go here in data inspector. I'm saving. Let's go here in data inspector. 
Okay, let's see and compare our results. You can you can keep your results, keep your runs, and you can compare. This is well dips. Let's go here and see my my well dips. You will find it very very different because we we increase the power massively. I think well dips was here. We, this is well dips. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, this is your well dips remaining constant because we didn't change the pressure. Okay and uh well temperature i think it will remain constant as well okay keep it here exergy i think exergy uh, of steam out is varying massively varying exergy here okay there is a huge variation in exergy analysis i think we have here we can we can increase more we add more slots we can add more slots what is my uh, uh, total mass flow rate let's see my total mass flow rate i think this one total mass flow rate cooling water mass flow rate as you can see massive massive increase and uh, uh, steam mass flow rate surely I, I can show them on, on another one this is steam mass flow rate and uh, let's go here um, cooling water mass flow rate and a steam flow rate uh, there is a huge difference i can show it here the steam and uh, cooling where, where is uh, total mass flow rate air mass flow rate of your cooling air mass flow rate slightly increase it with bulb temperature and uh, condenser um, let's go for uh, I, I am seeking total mass flow rate so many parameters so many parameters you can discover uh, let's go here i think this is total mass flow rate as you can see here this is total mass we can compare against the cooling water okay total mass flow rate as you can see here and uh, uh flash tank water okay so we can compare. we increase the power and we decrease it back again uh, so you can use these figures you can send it from here send to a figure you can control lines you can change the color you can do many many um, aspects related to uh, data extraction from here and also you can run this automatically you can run this automatically but I will keep this in another uh, video okay so we have here remember that we have a flashing tank we can control upper and lower limits by uh, pressure turbine pressure which is controlling the turbine temperature and the turbine uh, enthalpies as a condenser which is controlling the condenser temperature and by by these two parameters let's go inside again by these two parameters uh, we can we are succeeded to calculate well temperature which is responsible for dryness fraction uh, of your uh, cycle let's go here emphasize and go inside this is your uh, dryness fraction with which is very very important parameter uh, um, as a designer and you can control well depths you can discover what is your well depths uh, based on your uh, results um, needed anyway uh, i would like to thank you very much for interesting in our model um, uh, i will post another video about how to run this automatically by decreasing and increasing the load variation so the system will run smoothly without any interfering from your side you'll find your model is running uh, um, based on a, a real case study so you will be able to decide which kilometers or which meters uh, should I dig in order to achieve uh, uh, the desired temperature based on the load and based on the pressure and uh, uh, temperature of the turbine unit you are going to use uh, finally thank you very much for interesting and oh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you very much